Welcome back to simplefinance.com. Today I'm going to show you how to extend a particular vendor, uh, which is created as a business partner to this purchase organization. So again, I'm entering the PP transaction code here, and we are going inside uh, to again I'm remove here the search criteria, and then now uh, this is the particular vendor which is created already uh, in two roles right which is a general role as well as company code uh, specific role so when you carefully observe here whenever a particular role is created uh, there is an indication that there is a small information is available here at the role level itself it's called as a defined and if anything is already defined it will come as a defined and if it is not defined it will not say anything here right so in this case for example uh, of course uh, business partner general is always defined and then the fi uh, vendor information is defined so now i'm going to go for supplier information let's go here which is vendor at the purchase organization level so here flbn01 as i described earlier so the moment um, i select the role which is a supplier role here uh, you can also observe here there is a small indication that it is creating newly here okay so even though it is not creating the business partner newly the role that it is being uh, created in the supplier is what is called as a new creation here and the information would be related to the purchasing so I'm going ahead and clicking on the purchasing information here. The moment you have the purchasing uh, clicked and uh, you are going to create this particular information at the purchase organization level. So that is the reason it is asking you to enter the purchase organization here. So I'm entering uh, purchase organization 1710. So the moment I keep here, all the fields related to purchase organization will show up here right and then uh, typically at the purchase organization level you will enter under which currency this vendor is normally uh, supplying goods and what is the payment terms here you will enter the payment terms and then minimum order value in quote terms etc you will enter and then there is a small uh, and also like information such as I can go uh, like a page down then you can see here other information like GRIL valuation right so like I'm all the way going down so the information which is relevant for finance is what we call GR based IV okay so the GR based IV if it is ticked which means it is defaulted into the purchase order and expecting that there will be a goods receipt and then based on that there will be a invoice receipt um, there are certain other fields which are there at the purchase uh, purchase organization level um, which are relevant for um, finance which are like for example here uh, auto goods receipt uh, evaluator goods receipt is the one which is you will use here automatic evaluator receipts which means you don't normally um, you know like receive invoice but uh, whenever the goods receipts are done uh, based on that you pretty much uh, confirm that uh, invoice is also received uh, and then partner functions if at all you are going to use different partner functions for vendors normally you use partner functions for customers of course uh, partner functions also are used at vendors but not that frequently uh, typical partner function may be like freight agents that you will uh, uh, maintain as a partner functions here and again this is additional purchasing data if it is there uh, you mean again this is a different uh, information which is not available earlier i guess uh, this is maybe related to some other business process okay so the critical information is the purchasing so the moment you extend this particular vendor 
at um, purchase automation level then pretty much um, the information which you enter here will be defaulted into your purchase order and then it will be used for creating the purchase order so I'm going ahead and uh, uh, saving this vendor and also if you carefully observe here at the general data level also because you selected a purchase organization here and a couple of um, tabs will come here supplier information kind of so tabs and also there is a generic of course the tax information all that is already there Okay, let me go back to the purchasing and then here uh, if you want to switch to a different purchase organization uh, you can click here switch so that uh, you can uh, pretty much maintain the same order specific uh, vendor specific information at the purchase organization level by the organization itself okay, I'm going ahead and saving this so now this vendor which is like one zero 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 one seven zero is defined at the supplier level which is nothing but the purchase automation level okay and now if i go into the display mode and display roles you can clearly see those roles which are extended for this particular uh, supplier so you know only supplier role and uh, you know vendor role that's what we extended here again uh, uh, as i shown you earlier um, if you you are all this you are using using the BP transaction a business partner transaction only and um, you are not using the traditional uh, transaction codes which are like XK01 or FK01 okay thanks for visiting